this LinkedIn bio roaster, which was absolutely savage on how it roasted me. Check out this. Holy moly. That hit me right in the... I'm actually offended because it's so legit. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I made this in just five minutes on Alpha Duolite. So let's get into the build. So let's start building here in Duolite. So what you're looking at here is the screen once you're logged in. So like this is the normal screen. Then you log in you get this nice slick sunset or sunrise screen. What we can do here is we can select a framework and then a language, which is so handy because if you know what you're going to build, then you can just select it here. Additionally, we can actually add in images. We can add in some Figma design. We can also attach API specs. So if you want specific things used, you can add them in here. We can add in some project rules as well as attach a super base backend. Now you can also import directly from GitHub if you already have your code there. So what we're going to do is I have over here the prompts that I've been building out. So we have first of all the prompt. So that's this here. We're going to create a LinkedIn bio roaster like you've seen in the intro there. So let me paste that in here and there's a prompt and for this we'll use whatever this react and tailwind that will be fine for us and we'll use TypeScript instead of JavaScript. Now we're going to add in some rules as well. So ChatGPT is always handy to get just like a basic description, whether it's for Lovable or for any web design thing, because basically instead of just enhancing it, because sometimes you can enhance prompts, you can actually have a back and forth conversation to make sure what you're going to try in one shot is exactly what you want. So we have here the rules. These are the design notes for Duolite. So let's go back here and we can paste these in here. Now, as you can see, the project rules are before you chat, blah, blah, blah. We can select here. And we can actually go and see what they suggest to do. Let's search for rules. Such a slick looking website. So if we go here, rules, you can now see that you can define some project rules, really known as constraints. Now, if you didn't already notice on the left here, you can actually enhance your prompt with ChatGPT. It is suggested to do it. Hence why we're doing it today. So let's save these rules. Then we've closed that. And now we can just click enter here. And it'll go away and it'll start to do its magic. And there we go. We can see it's already starting here. So it imports the starter files. This is because we have specified the framework and language. And so then after that, it's going to go and start reasoning. And we can actually watch it reason here. Just try to think about how it's going to create this roster. Now, once it's created this first version, what we're then going to do is we're going to implement the API key to generate the roast. Because if you think about it, you have to have something to get, to create the words to roast you, right? <laughs> and to do that, instead of being a person, we're going to use AI. So inside of Duolite, we're going to use a .env file. Now, this is a secret file where you can store API keys and things like that. We're going to be using an API key from Google AI Studio for Gemini Flash. It will be completely free for a number of responses, so it's really good for testing out. Now, if you want to come and get an API key here, so, whoops, what's this done here? Let's select one, create an API key, and it will generate one here. Now, I'm going to delete this after you see it, because if you use it, then anywhere you use it, it Google will think you're me. And then it might try and charge me. So you need to watch that. But if you don't know how to get a project set up to create this API key, essentially you just go to console.google or console.cloud.google.com and then you want to create a new project here. You want to go to aishadow.google.com, API keys, and then create API key over here. And then we want to search for a project and yours will pop up here. And then you click create API key, you get your API key, and then you can just copy it and boom, there you go. So let's head back to Duolite. You can see that it is now generating the code and it's actually running a terminal as well because it can automatically deploy this here. That is so fast. Right, so it's found an error. Now, this is good because we can show you what it's going to look like because you will undoubtedly find errors the same way you find bugs. Now, you can try and give it some context if you think you know why this may have happened. And then what you can do, if you think this error needs to be fixed, click Fix All Errors. 
and then the terminal will go away and it'll actually fix this error here. Now, what I wanted to show you was we can actually look at this in code as well. So up at the top, go to code, and now we can see this browser here. So we can see this, uh, not code browser, code preview here. It's kind of like a little VS code inside of your uh, Duolite instance. And we can actually go in here and we can try to edit the file, not when it's doing its stuff, but when it's done, we can actually come in here and we can edit it. Right, there we go. So... It has this now. Before I click run, I'm going to give it the API key. So here is the Gemini API key for generating roasts. Let's put it in a.env. Use it in the app. Bam. Now we'll send that in. Now you could here, if you're just making it for yourself, you can add the API key directly into the code. Really bad practice because if someone hacks your GitHub or if you accidentally make it public or if you go from private to public and it's in your history on GitHub or even if you just accidentally publish this website and then bots find it, it could just like rinse your account basically. So we're going to let Duolite go away and add this in here and when we come back I'm going to show you that we can actually preview this in multiple modes. So we have here, we have a mobile mode, nice little small mobile which is so i just i love this background it's really cool <laughs> um then we have our tablet mode and then we have our desktop mode so you can actually see what it looks like and it will change depending on each one so we'll let this generate and then i'll show you when it's done which will be like in a minute oh well, never mind there you go it's done so what's new ai powers roasts smart analysis blah 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 how this ai works enhanced features next steps cool right so let's run this server and then we can explore our app right another error all good let's fix this and whilst it's fixing that let me go and show you that if we log in to duolite.dev which of course will be the first link in the description you can actually see down here that we can select some basic apps to get us started right so you have pacman you have project management apps landing pages flow charts notion like make your own notion which is pretty cool uh, and even a mobile app so let's first do pacman if you select it it will auto populate the prompt and then it will go and it'll actually start to run it so there we go we can see it's running it's created it here and there we go this is the pac-man game that it's made i was not i'm actually really really impressed with that pac-man game so let me see how did i start because it looks well cool but how did i where am i all oh, right so i'm here my little pac-man's a bit kind of looks a bit stuck hey the ghosts are they gonna come and get me will i end the game if i oh there we go oops you lost Hey, that's actually really pretty cool. It's such a slick interface. And then let's look. I want to see the mobile apps too. So we'll see this one here. It is a financial Gen Z savings mobile app. So let's see what this looks like. Boom. So it has popped up as a website. We can move this into mobile form. Oh, and there we go. Look how slick that looks. Hey, that looks really cool. Honestly, if only my bank use Duolite, maybe I'd actually go on the app and use it a bit more. Um, anyway, let's head back over to our app and see how it's getting on. Boom, it's just made the app. So I had to fix one more error and then here we are. So the LinkedIn Bio Roaster. Get your LinkedIn profile roasted with witty pointed feedback that actually helps. So here you'd paste in like your about me or maybe even just the whole web page. to be fair. Um, we could obviously enhance this to add links and stuff, but this is a good prototype now we can do a light medium or spicy roast <laughs> that's shocking so paste it in here choose a roast and then roast my profile right let's go and get my profile let's get my info so we'll go here we'll copy experience and education that'll do let me come over here paste that in then we'll do spicy roast Ah, error. Right, let's try again. The roaster is ready to deliver some seriously intelligent professional feedback. Go on then, roast me. Full roast. The sheer volume of text overwhelming. Listen, listening to every project is skill as though it's a separate accomplishment. 
The repetitive phrasing screams amateur hour. Oh, and seriously, a YouTube channel is nice, but it's not primary career differentiator. I'm actually really quite impressed at like the idea behind the app because I was thinking it was just going to slag me off, but it's given me a real like how to be better, which I'm really impressed by. But I, I do want the roast to be worse. So let me see. Make the roast of my profile even harsher, please. <sighs> And we'll see how it goes. Let me move it into mobile mode. Oh, hey. That looks pretty cool, man, doesn't it? Tablet mode. Yeah, I like it. So anyway, let's see. It's going to be even spicier now, I think. Right, so I'm ready. I'm ready for a savage roasting. Paste this in. Savage. Absolute brutality. Ooh, right, this profile reads like a frantic, desperate attempt to compensate for a lack of focus. Holy moly! That hit me right in the... That's, it feels like... I, I'm actually offended because it's so legit. <laughs> the sheer volume of crows crammed with buzzwords like a tech jargon bingo card. Oh, my poor LinkedIn profile. Oh, even LinkedIn doesn't want to show me it anymore. Oh, that's so rough, man. Screams inconsistent career trajectory. Oh, the YouTube channel boasts impressive views, yet somehow this translates into a resume of jarringly short-lived positions. Jeez Louise, mate. <laughs> that's so... It's so true that it's so rough. Oh, man. So anyway, it says instead, right? Choose two to three score skill sets. You know, craft concise, impactful descriptions. Perfect, perfect. Right, now I just want to double check in the code. We'll go and we'll make sure that it's actually using the API key properly. So let's search that. We go to Gemini Client. And there we go. It's bringing it in from the env, which is good. Perfect. So as it's hiding my key behind this .info, which means when we deploy it, you won't find it in the code. It will be actually on the server that's hosting the website, which is exactly how it should be done. Perfect. So as I was saying, we can download this as a zip, which is cool. There we go, all the files there. We can then also go and we can connect this to GitHub, which we'll look at in a minute. And then we can also link to Superbase so we could have a backend. So basically here you could have a backend storing all the data. So all of these roasts that are made and all the, the LinkedIn profiles that are sent in. Just make sure if you are going to do stuff like that, like this kind of data harvesting type of thing that basically you are asking for permission first or at least making sure that they accept terms and conditions type of thing i've just seen that jack of all trades master of none a blank 10 profile so cluttered it crashed the server that is so well rough man anyway to publish this we can click publish and we can then connect this with netlify netlify being a place that you can um, actually host websites for free so we can create a website here and then we can host it on Netlify just with one click so we don't have to actually there we go so now we're going to authorize Netlify on Duolite so that they can actually work together and there we go so now we can publish this here so go live and then we want to create the site, then build the site, and then deploy it all from Netlify. So we'll let this walk through its process, and then I'll show you the website actually live. And the link will be in the description below, so you can go and check it out as well. And boom, there we go, it is live. I only took like a minute. It's now optimizing my app for SEO. That's crazy, man. So we can also then submit to Showcase, so it becomes one of the Showcase apps inside of Duolite. We'll leave that there and then here we'll just go to what we do website tools games it's kind of a game we'll go games then click next and then the prompt that was used agree to this submit to the community and then boom once it's reviewed we will now be able to see it inside the community which is super cool so we have this link here and this is our netlify link let me just open it up here and there we go. This is the link you'll see in the description. You can put in your own LinkedIn content here and you can let me know your one-liner savage response that it gives you. Now, final thing I was mentioning with GitHub. We can connect this up to GitHub and then we can go here, authorize Duolite India, and then you confirm this and it will then link you up into GitHub. So there you have it. If you like Duolite, go check out with the first link in the description below. I'm really impressed at how it was able to do this so fast. 
and just so simply. It's really, really worth your time to go check it out. There'll be the first link in the description below. Let me know how you got on and let me know your one-liner savage response from my LinkedIn roaster. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.